So we're in the bus heading up to Stonehenge. What are you going to see, Jonathan? Jalen, Daddy. Say hi. Hi. Mama's hi. in town. You have the option of walking to Stonehenge. If you do, you get to see the burial mound and earthwork enclosures. So we're walking up to Stonehenge now. Pretty excited to see the new <laughs> rocks. Rock. There's a lot of mystery behind why it was constructed. The Asteris, it was used as a burial site for religious worship and as a solar calendar. Whatever the purpose may have been, it's truly a wonder of the world. One that we are grateful to experience as a family. Now let's see how the Neolithic people might have lived. This is what a community would have looked like. Feel the roof. Oh, this is not feel it. It's like grass. We're going into the room. So this is what the houses were like back in that era. See, that's the bed. Where's the bed? This is what the bed was like. That's another bed. Yeah, so maybe this is where they had this fire. Look, it's a stone. Oh, it's a stone. Well, that must not become the trouble. To us. A structure that's got a hard rectangular floor, a fire in the middle, and round walls. Uh, I'm going to show you the flint axe because this was before they before they'd worked out how to make metal so all their tools had to be made out of flint which is this stone here mm. comes out of the ground Mommy, look. yeah they're trying to pull it Jonathan can you pull it no. you can pull it so this is the stone that they had to move Mommy, are these people then they get a stick? Animals, those are animal fossils. 